Hey everyone and welcome back to Robot Boy and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how I play No Man's Sky which I know might sound a little strange and a slightly ridiculous topic to make a video about but it occurred to me the other day that I don't actually have any gameplay on my channel whatsoever of me playing No Man's Sky. I never have and I definitely won't have any up until next yet somehow you all still love watching my videos that just contain screenshots, which I actually think is a huge testament as to how flexible and varied No Man's Sky can be to play. There are so many different ways to play the game, most of which I haven't even attempted yet, but yet I still love playing the game. So in this video, I'm going to explain how I play the game and why I play it in the way I do. If you haven't guessed already, I like taking screenshots. A lot of screenshots. When photo mode was implemented into the game, I was beyond excited. When photo mode is implemented into any game, to be honest, I get super excited. If you don't know, I'm a professional videographer and photographer, and I love looking at the world from a cinematic perspective. To be able to translate this passion and this way of viewing the world into a game is perfect for me, and No Man's Sky's photo mode is a great tool. It has a lot of flexibility, there's great use of depth of field, there's great use of changing the focal length, of changing the zoom, of changing the filters, it all works fantastically for me. Some photo modes are quite limited, but this photo mode is amazing, you can fly anywhere you want, complete 3D space to move around in, it's amazing. When the game first released, I played normally, like everyone else, because that was the default and only mode in the game, you could only play normal mode. However, when the game did update to have survival, permadeath and creative mode, I'd recently acquired a PS4 Pro, and my original PS4 No Man's Sky vanilla mode save was no more. So I loaded up the game for the first time on the Pro, and decided I'd have a dip into creative mode first, and actually just fell in love with it. For me, at the time, pre-Atlas Rises, I wasn't a huge fan of the survival mechanics in No Man's Sky. I just wanted to explore, so having a creative mode was my ideal game mode. I lived in this mode up until 1.3, where I restarted a normal mode save for the first time in a very, very long time, and had a much fuller experience this time round, thanks to the new story and expanded building and crafting capabilities. This lasted me until around Christmas of 2017, where I started making No Man's Sky videos for the first time and realized my screenshot slideshow format was something people really, really enjoyed. So I permanently switched to creative mode and set off into the galaxy to explore and document everything I saw to use as visual content for my videos. But how do I play? Seeing as I have no reason in creative mode to really need the HUD, it serves no real purpose. When I first load the game up in a session, I open the options and turn the HUD off. I also switched the game mode filter to filmic instead of standard because for me, again, looking at everything from a cinematic perspective, it just makes everything more dramatic and seem much more interesting to look at. It's less flat, there's more contrast, the colors a bit more vibrant, and I just find it a much more immersive experience that way. Turning the HUD off as well also allows me to quickly take screenshots without going into photo mode, just in case I catch the perfect angle or animation from a creature when strolling about. I also feel so much more immersed in the game this way, without the cluttered HUD that takes over the screen, that I do hope they update and refine in next, or at least give the options to limit the HUD in some way, instead of completely removing it. Keeping the compass would be handy, but removing everything else would be a great option. Also removing that weird filter at the top of the screen as well. If you remove the HUD, it should just literally be like photo mode, you have no visor on. There should be an option for that as well. Another thing I do, which may be controversial, is turn the music off. Now, don't get me wrong, I love 65 Days of Static soundtrack. It is beautiful, one of my favorite soundtracks to a game of all time. Which is actually why I turn the in-game music off, but then link my phone to the Spotify app built into the PS4. I have a No Man's Sky playlist at the ready, consisting of music from Blade Runner 2049, Stranger Things, and all of 65 Days of Static's discography, along with many other ambient, atmospheric, synthy music, meaning I can experience some of my favorite other soundtracks accompanying one of the most extraordinary sci-fi adventures in a game, allowing me to tell my own visual story alongside these amazing scores of music. It also allows me to manually switch to the song I want to fit the exact mood and tone of the planet or situation I'm in. And that's it really, that's how I currently play. Things I haven't 
even touched on in No Man's Sky are things like farming, saving up to buy a freighter, properly building and expanding my base in a normal save. I've done it in creative mode, gone and built bases, but I haven't gone through actually working to save up the resources to build a base. I haven't even finished the main storyline yet. There are so many things in the game I just haven't done, haven't touched on yet, and yet I'm still loving the game, which again is a huge testament to how varied No Man's Sky is and how flexible it is to play with. You can play it pretty much however you want to. And with No Man's Sky next and multiplayer coming, there's gonna be even more possibilities. At the moment though, I go for the most super relaxed, chill vibe that you could ever achieve with a game. Just wandering around looking for the most beautiful sights I can. I feel like an explorer, a wildlife photographer almost, and I love it. When next comes, I'll restart my normal save again probably and begin my story once again. Or depending if multiplayer is a separate mode, we don't know how that will work yet, I might potentially jump into that instead. But until then, you'll find me wandering around planets, camera at the ready, with a No Man's Sky playlist shuffling on repeat. And that's it everyone, please do leave your ideas and your thoughts in the comments below. How do you play No Man's Sky? And what do you think we'll see in No Man's Sky next in addition to the multiplayer? As always, please give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and do subscribe to join me on this journey if you haven't done so already. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video.